broccoli and Kit Kat. Let's see exactly what it does to my blood sugar. So a few days ago, I ate a bar of Kit Kat like this, and this is the impact it had on my blood sugar. So pretty big spike. Today, I'm going to first eat a bowl of broccoli, and then I'll eat this Kit Kat. And I'm really curious to see if the fiber in the broccoli is gonna help reduce the spike of the Kit Kat. If I scan this as one of my meal on my Sugar AI calorie tracker, we see that a meal like this is actually 288 calories, which is a lot, and almost everything comes from the Kit Kat, with 40 grams of carbs and 25 grams of sugar. Now I'm really curious to see on the glucose monitor exactly what it will do. All right, it's now been two hours since I ate my Kit Kat with my bowl of broccoli. And we're gonna look on the glucose monitor to see exactly what it did. And tomorrow I will test what so many of you guys requested, which is a Snickers bar. So the Kit Kat alone did a pretty big spike. That's about, what, 60, 70, so it's a decent spike. And now after eating broccoli, the Kit Kat spike is still pretty high, honestly, but quite a bit less, right? And also what's interesting is to see that the line is a little flatter. So whenever we add a little bit of fiber, the spike is going to be lower and the line is going to be flat a little longer so it's a good thing let me know in the comments what you guys want me to test next time and see you tomorrow for snickers bar